At an altitude of about 7,000 feet, the Kilifi Hills are a popular training ground for Kenyan runners. Training so far above sea level, where the air is thin, forces their bodies to adapt. Then when they compete, the extra oxygen in the air gives their muscles a boost. High altitude training has contributed to Kenyans' competitiveness, but good performance footwear can be a game changer too. Historically, Kenyans have had to rely on foreign-made shoe brands, but now they have a local option, Enda. I've used the shoe in different marathon uh, here locally and also in abroad, and it is a fantastic shoe. I can assure uh, anybody to come and try the shoe because it's, uh, it has a good shock and I have competed with it. And I have, in fact, the, race, the first race I went with it in Germany, I won that 10K, and I, so I can assure that uh, the shoe is a great one. Enda shoes hit the Kenyan market in 2016. They are reasonably priced and sells for between $90 and $119, compared to their imported competitors, which cost $130 on average. Enda co-founder, Navalayo Osembo says the company offers African athletes an opportunity to buy their shoes locally without compromising on quality. We're the first of our kind in Kenya and in Africa, basically uh, people who are making performance running footwear. It hasn't been done before and we are unique because we present a different value proposition for consumers that they can actually um, get the same kind of quality from a smaller brand that is actually made in Africa. Osembo says Enda now sources most of its raw materials locally too and partners with a factory in Kilifi where a team of 42 employees produces 150 to 300 pairs of shoes per day. Initially when we started we were getting all our raw materials from China and now we are also sourcing locally. Our goal is to get to the shoe to 100% made in Kenya. We are not there yet but we've kind of gotten to the point where we qualify for made in Kenya. Last year, Enda sold 7,000 pairs of shoes, and 90% of them went to customers in the U.S. Perhaps they're hoping their new shoes will give them a bit of that Kenyan running magic. Ade Shewa Josh, TR2 World.